Americans concerned about how to protect their money. And of course, politicians are using that concern to their advantage as always. Several states are now trying to centralize currency with these so-called central bank digital currency, which is, by the way, not currency at all. Sorry, you guys. Software. But they're going to do it for your own good. Obviously, this is a tool of total social control. If they control your money, if they can zero out your bank account with a keystroke, then you have no autonomy. They control you. Well, in the state of South Dakota, legislators just passed a bill that would have changed the definition of money to exclude cryptocurrency, and that would put the state on a path to centralized digital currency. South Dakota's governor, Kristi Noem, the only governor we're aware of who's paying attention to this, vetoed that bill. She joins us tonight to explain why. Governor, thank you very much for doing this first and for coming on. Um, why did you do it? You're obviously under pressure not to veto it, but you did. Why did you? Well, Tucker, it was the right thing to do. I became aware of this bill. It wasn't introduced until almost halfway through our legislative session. We started reading through this bill that was over 110 pages long. It was sold as an update to the guidelines of the Universal Commercial Code, backed by all of our financial institutions, our banks. As we started reading through it, we saw the section of the bill that changed the definition of currency. And essentially what it did was pave the way for a government-led uh, CBDC, and it also banned any other form of cryptocurrency or Bitcoin or digital currency that existed. So for me, it very clearly was a threat to our freedom. Uh, in South Dakota, we are the session that completes its uh, business earliest in the year. We are the first ones to really look at this bill and find out the truth of what's in it. Uh, and I did veto that bill. I'm asking my legislators to change their minds, uh, to make the right decision and help me kill this bill once and for all. But I'm telling you, Tucker, We've got the same language coming to over 20 other states. I believe it's to pave a way for the federal government to control our currency and thus control people. It should be alarming to everyone, and it's being sold as a UCC guidelines update. Uh, there's no rush to do this. Uh, we need to be smart and make sure that we're doing what we can to protect people. I find it ironic that we also are having this discussion at the same time we have banks and credit card companies talking about coding, gun, and ammunition uh, in a separate code so they can track it. So not only can they tie these two issues together, if the government doesn't approve of what you're purchasing, if they have the only form of digital currency out there and that is endorsed and utilized in the country, they can control how you spend that money and thus take away all your freedom. So nicely put, and I, and I, I don't think you're overstating at all the significance of this. Really quickly, do you think, and you want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt on their motives, but do you think that legislators in your state understand what this bill was actually designed to do? Yeah, I don't know if they read it, Tucker. That's what is alarming <laughs> right. to oh, me. They read is it. it was over 110 pages long. They wrote it. And they were told by lobbyists that they had listened to for the last 20 years that it's fine. It's just a regulation update. This is what we do is adopt federal regulations, but if you start reading it, uh, you see in there there is a redefinition of currency that it says government CBDCs are okay if they're run by the government, uh, but any other form is then banned. Uh, it is mm. clearly a change for how people's assets are utilized. It clearly limits the freedom of people to use other forms of currency that they may choose to if it is a digital currency. And it is clearly putting power into the hands of government. If anything, we should have learned the last several years is the government can't be trusted. Uh, you know, Bill Tucker, what I was surprised by was that, you know, the bills that have made it to my desk this year, people think about South Dakota being conservative and being a very Republican state. The first bill I had to veto was a tax increase. Now this has made it to my desk. Uh, we've got other challenges as well. I, I really hope that what you've done inspires other governors. Appreciate your coming on tonight. Governor Christine Noem of South Dakota, thank you.